In this Excel video, I will show you how to use a checkbox to highlight a cell or even a whole row in Microsoft Excel. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I have a list of duties that have been assigned to a team of employees. And I want to be able to check a box to mark these tasks as being done. So I'll click on cell F2. And actually, in this case, I'm going to click and drag from F2 all the way down to F7. And then I'll go to the Insert tab and click on Checkbox. Instantly, checkboxes are added to all of those cells. And these are working checkboxes. I can check and uncheck them. These are the newer Excel checkboxes that are so much better than the prior ones. But I'd really like some color coding to help me understand, OK, this is done or it's not done. The first thing I'm going to do is click and drag on cell F2 through F7 to highlight that range. And then I'll go to the Home tab and I'll choose a background color for those cells. I'm going to choose red. So that signifies these tasks are not done. And now let's apply some conditional formatting to make the cell colors change to green once they are done. So again, I'm going to click and drag to highlight F2 through F7. And then on the Home tab, in the Styles group, I'll click on Conditional Formatting. And I'll set up a new custom rule. So I'll click on New Rule. There are several different types of rules that I could choose, but I'm going to select this last one. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to move this down so you can see the formula bar here. And I want you to know that when a checkbox is unchecked, it's understood in Microsoft Excel as being false. When it's checked, then it's understood as being true. And so that's going to come into play with our formula here. So use a formula to determine which cells to format. I'm going to click here and then click on F2. So I want to test if F2 is equal to true. And often when you're looking for text in Excel in a formula, you need to put that text in quotation marks. In this case, these checkboxes are interpreted as being not text, but a value, a value of true or false. So you don't need to put them in quotation marks. OK, well, what do I want to have happen if this checkbox is checked? What I want is for the format to change to green. So I click on Format, and I'll go to Fill, and I'll choose a green color. How about this one here? Click OK. Now, I could click OK here, but there's one more thing I need to do. Here in my formula, do you see these dollar signs? Those dollar signs mark this formula as using absolute cell references. But I want relative cell references, at least with the number 2. So I clicked right before the 2, and I'll tap Backspace, and then click OK. And look, it worked. If I check a box, F2, it turns green. If I uncheck it, it goes back to the default of red. What about F3? Click the checkbox, green. Uncheck it, red. So this is working beautifully. Now, in a minute, I'll show you how to highlight the entire row, not just the one cell. But before I do, I'm going to click and drag to highlight that range again. And I'm going to go back to conditional formatting. This time, instead of new rule, I'll choose manage rules. There's the rule that I just put in. If I double click on that, it lets me edit the rule. So I'm going to put the dollar sign back in to make this an absolute cell reference, F2. So that's going to force the formula to all be based on the cell F2, not to move it down depending on the cell that I've clicked on. So this will show you what would have happened if I hadn't removed the dollar sign. I click OK. I can apply it. Click OK again. So now none of these work except the first one. And it changes the color for all six of these. So you can see why that's not ideal. I'll hold Control and tap Z on the keyboard. And I'll have to do that a couple of times to go back to how it is meant to be without the dollar sign in front of the number 2. OK, let's look at how to change this conditional formatting rule so that it highlights not just the cell itself, but the entire row. So with F2 through F7 highlighted, I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. And here's my rule. This is the formula without the dollar sign in front of the 2. And this formula applies to what cell or range? Well, it's this, F2 through F7, right here. Well, what if I change that? If I click on this arrow here, I can then click and drag to highlight everything that I want it to apply to. And then I could click this button again, click Apply, click OK, and you can see the results. So let's say nobody has completed their task so far. We have only red checkboxes all the way down. 
But now this gentleman here is able to analyze and sort the numerical clusters and I check the box, the entire row is highlighted. Dylan here ensures compliance, so I check the box and the entire row is highlighted. So in this video, I've shown you how to use a checkbox to highlight a cell or row in Microsoft Excel. If you liked this, you may want to watch my many other videos on conditional formatting, and also on checkboxes. I'm gonna be making a series of videos showing off some of the things you can do with the newer Excel checkboxes. In the meantime, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my super techie channel supporters. I appreciate all of the channel supporters and subscribers and channel members, everybody. But those of you who are super techies, you make it possible for me to continue to do this in my evenings and on weekends. Your support really does mean the world to me. Thank you so much.